Okay, what we're going to show you here now, this is one of our CSI alternators. This is a one wire, 100 amp alternator, beautiful brand new alternator, nice chrome job on it. All you have to do is hook up one heavy duty wire. This is a 10 gauge wire, a fairly thick wire, to this terminal that is on the back of the alternator. Now, what you normally do is you take this wire and run it right to the positive on your battery. If for some reason your battery is in the trunk or in a location where you can't get to it, then you can actually take this red wire, run it nice and neat down away from your headers, and you can hook it up to the heavy lug that goes on to your starter. This wire here will go on to your starter where your, where your positive wire terminal goes on to your starter on the heavy lug there. And that will take care of that. I usually like to run an extra ground from the side of the block to the frame of the vehicle that keeps everything flowing beautifully on the wire harness. Now, while we're over here on the starter, what you do is when the starter comes, we put two blue marks on the starter. One is going to be on the heavy terminal right here. We put a blue mark on that stud, and then we put another blue mark on the internal stud, the, the uh, one that for your solenoid wire. What you do on this, on the heavy stud, you put your positive battery cable, and then there will be another wire that's already there that is another heavy wire, usually a red heavy wire, that goes inside and hooks up onto your uh, fuse panel. That powers all the power going to the inside of the vehicle. Then you're going to find that you've got a, a purple wire usually on General Motors, and that is a solenoid wire that goes onto the inside terminal. Once you have those hooked up, the engine should turn over and crank nicely. So, that basically takes care of it. Just keep everything uh, away from the hot exhaust and you shouldn't have any problem at all with that.